Good morning. Today, we are going to find out if the sum of two integers are positive, negative, or zero. And what you need to know is, and I'm going to ask you, is how can you tell? We all watch football, don't we? Oh, yes. I heard Cassie say, oh, yes. We all watch football. That's why I know we all know about integers. So think about this for a minute. Your team lost eight yards on the first play. And then they gained 10 yards on the second play. So the question is, what would the end result be? See Chaz raising his hands gingerly. Chaz? They would end at the 10 yard line. Okay, so what would the end result be? Two. Two. So did they gain two or gain, lose two? Gain two. They gain two. Hmm. Do we agree with what Chaz is saying? How many of you agree? Yeah. I do. I do. You do? I do. You all agree? Yes. How do you know the end result is two? A number line. Let's try this on your number lines that you have in front of you. What if your football team has a gain of four yards and then they lose eight yards. So I'm going to walk around and see what you are doing on your number lines to show what was the end result. What was the end result if you had a gain of four and then you lost eight yards? A Kayla. Negative four. Negative four. How many of you agree with what Akela got? Show of hands. Most excellent. Now that we've done this, let us try a different type of manipulative. So let us open up our containers and get the integer chips out. Now, what are the, one of the things that you've noticed with the integer chips, that they are two colors, right? What are the two colors? Yellow and red. Yellow and red. Now the reason I'm telling you about the two colors is because they mean two things. Ah, Alex, do you want to tell us what the colors mean? They mean positive and negative. They mean positive and negative. Do you know which side is positive and which side is negative? Mm, the yellow is positive, the red is negative. Yes, the yellow is positive. It's nice and bright. It's positive. It's yellow. And the red is negative. We're going to use the integer chips to model what we just did with the yardage at football. Before we do that, we need to talk about something that happens when we bring those two integer chips together. Uh, I think they cancel each other out and make it zero. If we have one positive chip, okay, and we have one negative chip, if we put them together, we get the zero pair. In fact, they cancel out each other, but they have to be the same, one and one. So if you walk one way and you walk back the other way one, you always end up at zero. Let's see if that we can count out the same problem that we started with at the beginning of the lesson. How many of you are ready to try a couple of problems using the integer chips you have on the table? In your groups, think about some real life problems that we can use these integer chips as a tool to solve the problems. I know something square feet, but then they want to take away some of the length. But what if I put integers money in a bank, and I put money in, and I take money out? So it all depends on how many, how much you've had first. So if you had $100 there, and you took out 50 and put 50 in, then you can still have but what if you didn't have 100 to begin with? What if you had less? Yeah, like and you took fun. out and you didn't know, so what would happen? And you don't know you took money so out of the bank? Exactly. How would you, you not know? know? What? No, let's say you have $10. Yeah. 
in your bank account and you didn't check that you had ten dollars but you wrote a check for twenty dollars so then you're losing ten and now you're negative ten see now exactly. you have to owe them ten dollars then, 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 then you have to put in at least ten then you have to put in at least you have to put in these at least ten dollars so that you can then you can put more money back in not be in debt so you guys sound like you have a very interesting problem what that problem is um, we have like ten dollars of allowance, and then we spend four dollars, and then we get another ten dollars. Very nice. Oh, I like oh, allowance. Fine. Great problem, and I like how you're using the number line to do that. Uh, what about this group? Oh, uh, we came up with a problem. Let's say Cassie owes Chaz four dollars, but all she has is a five dollar bill, so she gives him the five dollar bill. So then it'd be negative four plus five equals one. Great. And what's interesting is this group used words. You, you guys talked it out verbally, whereas the group here used into the chips, and the group there used the number line. Great jobs for this lesson. We have learned about using three different tools. We have talked about verbalizing and talking about it. That was one of the tools we used. That is a tool. The second thing that we talked about was number lines. We used the number lines to add integers. And now we know, because now we have a number sense of whether it's going to be positive or negative or zero. And the third tool we used was what? It was the integer chips. So now we have three tools that we can use to tell what happens when we add or subtract integers.